Well, my first guest joins me via satellite from Vancouver, Mr. Mike Devji. He's the executive vice president of Orco Silver Corporation. They are listed on the TSX uh, Venture Exchange in Canada. Uh, their stock symbol's OK. If you're checking on, an, on a, a website uh, quote service, you might want to type in OK.V. Uh, Mike, welcome to the program. Thank you, Don. Great to be here. Well, it's great to have you now. Orco Silver Corporation describes itself as a company developing one of the world's primary uh, silver deposit, La Preciosa, located near the city of Durango, Mexico. Can you give us a general overview of the company, please? Orco Silver has been around for about six and a half years. Uh, basically uh, discovered uh, the La Preciosa uh, silver deposit in Mexico, which is uh, probably the largest primary silver deposit discovered in the past 10 years or so. Uh, very, very ideally located in uh, Durango State, which is mining friendly. And uh, there is a number of uh, large mines located in the area, which is what attracted us to going into the area in the first place. Uh, but uh, basically, the property has been around uh, in the Loisman family for 60, 70 years until we got into the picture in 2003, 2004, at which point we started spending a lot of money and developing this project to what it is today, uh, hence the discovery of a very large silver project in Mexico, in Durango. Well, I'd have to say that your timing couldn't be better. I mean, silver prices have been performing very well lately. Oh, definitely. I think uh, the silver uh, market today is a lot more uh, active, a lot more bullish. Uh, we all expected silver to do well, and it has done well. And uh, basically, today what we're finding is that silver is becoming more of a, a very industrial metal, and there is more and more new uses of silver discovered every day. Uh, and uh, as a result of that, uh, it's uh, creating a very big demand for silver. Well, now the company is scheduled to release news here in the second quarter on its preliminary economic assessment at La Preciosa. Is that uh, release still on schedule? Uh, yes, I think we are in the process uh, of waiting for Pan American to, to sort of give us uh, uh, the sort of the timing on this uh, new preliminary assessment report that we're expecting right now. Uh, that report's been uh, sort of worked on for the past uh, 18 months since Pan American got involved with us, and we're hoping that uh, we can publish that for our shareholders uh, for the market uh, probably sometimes in the next 30 to 45 days. Now, these are timings that we're getting from Pan American, so hopefully we can live up to those timings. Well, Mike, you mentioned a moment ago that there are many more uses for silver. What are some of those? The users for silver today uh, are, uh, there's a number of uh, users that uh, didn't exist in the last five, six years. Originally, silver was mainly used for, uh, uh, for photography and uh, for collectors uh, and for coins and currency. But today, uh, photography is now dropped down from about 50, 60 percent down to like 10 percent. But there's new uses like uh, solar panels, which is probably the fastest growing industry in the silver industry right now that uses silver, uh, medical industry, water purification. Um, again, uh, collectors are definitely increased, uh, in, uh, you know, collecting more silver as a result of, uh, uh, you know, hedging against the dollar or whatever you want to call that. But uh, there is definitely a big demand uh, for silver today in other sources than just, uh, just the traditional ones that we're known uh, or we know of. Well, let's talk about the infrastructure in and around the area of Durango. Is it suitable for transportation and accessibility? Well, this is the beauty about our project. Uh, the project's located just about 35, 40 minutes out of, outside the city of Durango. You can actually land at the airport and uh, rent a car, and you're on this property in 45 minutes. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask for any better located project. Uh, majority of your mining projects are located in the middle of nowhere where infrastructure is a big issue. Here we have a paved highway that goes uh, to the Torreon uh, smelter which Pignolis owns. Uh, which goes right by our property. There's a railway line that goes past our property. There's power. And, uh, you know, we employ, as a company between us and Pan American, there's co close to 40, 50 people that work on the property. Uh, they, all, uh, they all go home at night from, uh, from working on this property. So, you know, we're using a lot of the local manpower. Uh, it's a mining-friendly area, so you can practically get anything to do with mining in the region 
uh, in most cases uh, when you're uh, in the remote locations if something breaks down it takes you three four days to get your or a week ten days to get your equipment uh, fixed but here uh, you know Durango City is right around the corner so you can access a lot of that information or material uh, within a matter of days so location is fantastic infrastructure is amazing well, Mike, the company announced recently it's retained the services of Amic Americas Limited. They're going to provide a technical review of La Preciosa. What does the company expect that to be completed? Well, that's like a moving target. Uh, basically, AMEC uh, has been brought on by ORCO as, uh, as an advisory position so that uh, when Pan American uh, is giving us information, we have a party that's capable of, uh, of being able to look at that information and giving us advice as to uh, uh, whether you know, the information is provided to us in, uh, in the proper manner or whether we need uh, to, to have a, a second look at it or whether we disagree in that case we would go back to Pan American and say hey guys you know we're not happy with this maybe we need to kind of rechange some of the numbers so Amex position with us is uh, more of, a, uh, of a, a comfort for our shareholders going forward as, as this project matures. Well of course they say the best place is to find gold and silver next to where gold and silver have already been fine. Now does that old mining adage apply to your property? Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, you're looking at a, a mine, Fresno, which is uh, probably a couple of hours out from us. They've been mining for the last 150 years and uh, they haven't run out. And uh, if you look at the, the general area where our property is located, there is a number of other mines that are operating, so definitely this applies to our project. Now, you mentioned Pan American Silver a moment ago. A company has a joint venture agreement with them. Uh, what can you tell us about that? The agreement is very straightforward. Uh, 2008, when uh, the markets uh, kind of uh, uh, had a bad time, we all suffered, uh, all the juniors had a tough time raising money, and at that point we, as a company, had to decide whether uh, we should uh, go on our own and dilute the company further or find a partner that would take us uh, to the next step. And in our case, uh, we were very lucky. We were at the BMO conference, uh, and uh, Jeff Burns from Pan American approached us at that time and uh, basically asked if we would be interested in uh, agreeing or joint venturing this project with them. And the agreement's very straightforward. Uh, it was uh, uh, April the 14, 2009, when we entered into this agreement. Uh, Pan American has a right to earn 55% by spending 100% of all the capital expenditures and free carriers for 45%. So in other words, they have to spend all the money uh, to, to take this thing uh, right into production. And once they do that, they earn 55%. They have a three-year window to do that, and the three-year window expires uh, April the 14th of 2012. Also, at that point, they have to provide us with a full feasibility report and in between the preliminary assessment report, which is what you asked me about a little while earlier. Well, Mike, why is this a good time right now for folks to take a closer look at Orco Silver Corporation? Well, a number of events for us. Uh, for one, uh, it's very difficult to find a project like ours or companies like ours where we've made a big discovery. Uh, and it's very, very difficult to find companies like ours. And majors are always looking and sniffing around for people uh, that have taken all the, 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 the risk and uh, they do all the dirty work like a junior, where they come in, do all that work, take the risk, find a project of merit and, uh, and bring it to a level where it is today in the case of Orco's La Preciosa project. Uh, and and uh, they normally come in and say, okay, guys, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take you guys out. And this happens uh, uh, in, the, in, in most of the mining companies. And in, 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 if you look at history, majority of the juniors find them and the majors mine them. And in our case, I don't think it will be any different. So the advantage for uh, Orco to our shareholders or people looking to buy uh, an Orco story is that we're looking at a project that's uh, maturing, uh, it's getting de-risked. Uh, we have a major that spent $20 million on our project uh, with zero dilution to Orco so far and uh, is in the process of hopefully spending more money to put this thing into production. Uh, and the capex on that would be uh, uh, much higher than the $20 million that I just talked about. So uh, we're, we're sitting on a, on a property that has a potential for a takeover.
biomajor, or for that matter, if you're looking at uh, the commodity cycle, uh, you know, uh, you know, being more bullish. Uh, in that case, uh, we have 150 million ounces of silver that uh, is in the ground, and you're buying it at two dollars an ounce in the ground today. Once again, Orco Silver Corporation, OK, is their stock symbol on the TSX Venture Exchange. If you're checking that online, you might want to type in OK.V. Mike, we're initiating coverage of the company this week, watching you very closely over the next several months. Uh, thanks for joining us on the program. OK, I just would like to leave one more comment here. I uh, just want to make a comment that uh, Orco's uh, leverage to the market today is that probably there's a handful of companies similar to Orco. So if you're looking to buy Orco Silver today, you're buying a company that has uh, a, a big major spending all the money. Uh, in other words, de-risking the project. So uh, you don't have to worry about a junior's management having to find the big money to put a, ma a, a major mine into production, plus the expertise and the ability to do that. So that's what we have in a company today going forward. Well, that's well said, Mike. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you again.